Hi kids. Can you remember last week our story ended with Joseph at the bottom of a deep, dark pit where his brothers had thrown him? Oh dear. Shall we find out what happens next? Okay, when I say crick, I want you to say crack. Ready? Crick. 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 Joseph could hear his brothers talking at the top of the pit, but he couldn't hear what they were saying. Oh, please don't leave me down here, he cried out to them. Please help me. Oh dear, his brothers didn't answer. But suddenly, someone threw something down into the pit. It was a rope. Joseph grabbed hold of it and he could feel himself starting to be pulled upwards out of the pit. Oh, as he got nearer the top, he thought, phew, it's all going to be okay. My brothers haven't left me. They've changed their minds. Maybe this was all just a mistake. But when Joseph's brothers hauled him out of the pit, he suddenly saw there were men with camels waiting for him with mean looks on their faces. Oh no, slave traders. They put shackles on his wrists and tied him up to their camels. Joseph turned to his brothers for help, but they said to the men, give us our money and take him far away. We don't ever want to see him again. Oh no, poor Joe. Oh, Joseph stumbled along behind the camels through the hot, dry desert. The shackles bruised and hurt his wrists. But what hurt the most was what his brothers had done to him. His brothers hated him so much that they had sold him as a slave to these men and now he was being taken far, far away. Would he ever see his mum and dad again? Would they try to come looking for him? But Joseph's brothers took his beautiful coat, tore it into bits and took it to their dad. They told their dad that Joseph had been eaten by a wild animal. Oh, it broke their dad's heart. So Joseph was taken far away to Egypt. No one was going to come looking for him. But he wasn't on his own. God was with Joseph. And Joseph trusted God that he would take care of him. The traders sold Joseph to a very important man named Potiphar. Joseph had to work very hard for Potiphar and he missed his home very much. But God was still with Joseph. He blessed Joseph and made it so that he was really good at everything he did. And when Potiphar saw this, he put Joseph in charge of everything in his house. Potiphar was able to put his feet up and relax. But what about Joseph? Oh, I guess you're gonna have to come back next week to find out what happens next. See you soon.